I used to hate this software. Let me take you back to when I was a noob making silly videos on Instagram and Twitter. My video editor sent me video via frame and I was like, what is this? Send me a Dropbox, man. Fast forward a few months and I'm on the phone with Emery Wells, the founder of Frame. He's a very handsome man and I must say, I was convinced I needed to try the product. Since then, Frame has totally upgraded my video review workflow. I'm gonna take you through a review of Frame and show you all the coolest features, plus tell you a little bit about the story behind the founding of Frame. Let's jump into the video viewer. So the video viewer is where I spend most of my time in Frame. Honestly, the most useful feature is being able to leave notes at specific time codes. So say I don't like this little folder here that I'm looking at. I could just leave a comment here, folder, and boom, it goes right there. And let's say I wanna even go further, leave another comment. Oh, I don't like his face there, sorry, Quinn. I'm just not a fan of your face, buddy. <laughs> let's say I don't like his look here, whatever. I could just add another one, look, you know, very simple like that. And it all stacks right there chronologically on the side. Let's talk about file management. File sharing makes it seriously easy to work with an editor. You can add a collaborator at the top of the workspace, then just click and drag video files into the workspace. Creating folders is as simple as just kind of dragging them around. You can manage these workspaces also on the side panel as well. See, I've got a couple other workspaces there for my podcast, for a project with a friend, whatever it might be. So another really cool feature that I wanna talk about is the Adobe Premiere integration. Here's where it gets really interesting. My editor can open up Frame directly in Adobe Premiere and even export directly into the Frame workspace. He could also create review links and presentation links. The difference here is just a review link is what you'd send to a client. They can approve it and then directly download the video. And a presentation link is a little more formal. It's something that you might show people. If you work in an ad agency, maybe you'd put it on a presentation. Frame's mobile app is fantastic as well. It's great for social media teams on the go. So let's say I'm a social media manager. I'm on the go filming somewhere and my video editor is at his laptop. He uploads into Frame on his laptop. I get it on my phone. I'm able to download, drink my coffee and also post to Instagram. It's pretty fantastic, it's a seamless operation. If I need edits, I could just mark that it needs to be reviewed, and if it's all good, just approve it, download onto Instagram, there you go. Now onto the coolest feature, C2C. And no, for my B2B SaaS friends out there, that does not stand for customer to customer, it stands for camera to cloud. Now this isn't something I'm using every day personally, but I still think the technology is super cool and worth talking about. If you have an Atomos Connect for Ninja, which is just kind of a camera add-on, you're able to directly export your footage into frame, which helps you save a ton of time running hard drives around set, person to person, downloading, uploading, whatever, it saves a ton of time. While that's an amazing feature, it's a lot better for bigger teams. The average TikToker creator probably not gonna be using it. But that is something I find so cool about Frame is that it's used by individual creators, TikTokers, Instagrammers, but also used by Hollywood studios. It really is a tool that has hit every reach of the creative world. So this is everything that I use Frame for, and now we're gonna be talking about V4 Beta. This is the newest version of Frame, and they actually just launched it in beta on Product Hunt. So let's jump in here. If we look through what's new, you'll see the entire workspace is more dynamic. You could resize windows and even look at your video with comments next to your workspace, which is really useful. Right now you need to click into things. I think they're calling this panel-based design. There are also a lot of new organizational features. You can now use custom metadata to organize instead of making folders within folders. It comes with 32 fields like notes, status, keywords, rating that you could choose from to tag clips with. This is honestly just one of those magic moments in software where it feels like you enter the software and it's already built for you. You just enter and there's already this stuff and it feels like it knows you. I really love that and it shows that Frame understands their users. What I think is really cool too is the new presentations you can do. You can make custom layouts, colors, configurations. It's essentially a custom website to show off your clips to clients or internally. Some of these look like a straight up streaming platform. You could basically have your own Netflix, it's pretty sick. But honestly, the best new feature is the updated video viewer. Not only can you now pin notes to specific time codes, you could actually pin them 
to specific spots on the video. You could even draw in it, maybe draw a circle. You could add files. You could even attach images and other files to the timecode notes. You can imagine how this is extremely helpful for making the communication process more efficient for a client and a video editor. Before Frame, I used to be scrolling through Dropbox, just scrolling, staring at my phone, literally on my phone, and then sending the specific you know, screenshots and timecodes to my video editor. It was a nightmare. This is just amazing. Seriously amazing. There are other cool features like bulk upload that you could check out on their product hunt launch, but Emery, please give me beta access. Speaking of Emery, let's talk about the founder of Frame, Emery Wells. Before starting Frame, Emery was not in tech. He actually moved to New York to become a filmmaker when he was 20 years old with like 50 bucks in his pocket. After grinding for seven years on Frame, he was able to sell it for over a billion dollars to Adobe. From broke movie maker to selling a company for over a billion dollars. Fun fact, he got into film after his high school girlfriend broke up with him, inspiring him to make a movie based on the breakup. So thank you to her for putting him on the path to become a billionaire and starting Frame, which is an app I absolutely love. That's where Frame is now, but let's talk about the early beginnings. Emery was in New York running a creative agency. He was helping places like SNL make really cool content, but he wanted to build SaaS. So he and his co-founder John started hacking away and built Frame for two years in silence. When they did launch, it went absolutely viral. It got over 15,000 signups. You gotta remember, Emery knew no one in Silicon Valley. He's just a dude who moved to New York to become a filmmaker and then built an app around something he loved. And now he was getting hit up by investors like crazy. Frame launched on Product Hunt and they've done launches on every big feature since then from Frame V2 to Frame for iPad to now Frame V4 Beta. Their history is tied to Product Hunt. You could actually see the history of Frame's launches on Product Hunt. Here's their pre-launch, the regular launch, the Final Cut Pro to Adobe Premiere to iOS to Frame 2, and all the way up to Frame V4 where they are now. It's really fun actually looking through the launch history of different startups that you love, and you're able to see how they iterate and change and improve the product over time. For the founders out there, I wanna give you some tips that Emery gave me when he and I were talking. One of the big tips he gave was hitting up people in your community directly. When they were just starting Frame, they didn't go for paid ads, they didn't put up billboards across New York, nothing like that. Because Emery was tied into the filmmaking industry, he just started hitting up his friends naturally. He would ask them to try out the product, they liked it, and eventually Frame would infiltrate whatever studio or agency they were at because the product was that good. That's what happens when you build a product for a community that you love, that you're tied to, that you understand. The product spreads because you're just helping your friends out. Build a product for a community you love. It's one of my biggest pet peeves when people build products for communities they don't understand. I can't tell you how many tech bros have come to me telling me they wanna build software for farmers. They've never been on a farm. I've never been on a farm. So maybe you shouldn't build software for farmers. Maybe something that you actually understand and love. Emery is the perfect example of this. He built a product around something he loved and was able to sell it for over a billion dollars. So don't say there's no money in filmmaking, all right? Now let's jump into some specific tips around launching that Emery gave. So most companies throw up like a simple landing form, call it a day. I've seen some even just do a type form, but Frame did not do that. Because it was video editing, because it's something creative, I think they felt the pressure. They needed something beautiful. So in their first launch, they made a beautiful landing page with animations. It was crazy. And it took the internet by storm. It really just like captured the attention. The level of detail and craft that Emery brought from his creative agency, he brought it to SaaS. Right now, with everybody creating SaaS with AI, no code, you know, cheaper engineers, there really is an opportunity for craftsmen in SaaS. Emery is one of them. He's somebody who builds beautiful SaaS, and I hope you do the same. Another big hack they did was deep engagement beyond just the initial emails. So you know, when you get added to a wait list or something, you get an email. But Emery made it a lot cooler than that. He was having a personal touch with the automated follow-ups. So you know when you typically sign up for a product on a wait list, you just get like a corporate BS email, right? That's not how Emery did it. When somebody signed up for Frame, they got an email that felt like it was from Emery. It was literally just plain text and it, it felt like it was from him. And so what this did was it created conversations with thousands of users and even investors. 
this is actually like such a genius approach. As a newsletter writer, as somebody who writes on the internet a lot, I really recommend just paying attention to your copy, making it sound as natural and personable as possible. Don't try to sound corporate -y and big when you're just a small startup or just an indie hacker, right? Sound like a real human, people relate to humans, build connections, don't just think about like, you know, getting user after user with all these crazy signup flows, just build friendships and you never know what might happen from those. On to the verdict. This is the very serious review part where I go full MKBHD, you know, I'm about to destroy a company. No, 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 no. This first product hunt review, I wanted to start with a product I love and understand. I use Frame all the time and it is a truly fantastic product that I could not recommend enough. I hope you enjoyed this review. We're gonna be doing product hunt SaaS reviews every week. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you on the internet.